Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. Stimulus checks are on their way out here in the US and many families will be receiving over $1,400 shortly and might be wondering what to do with it. So today we're gonna discuss what would Warren Buffett do? So here we go. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. As I said, stimulus checks are on their way. Many people already have those deposits pending in their bank accounts. So today we're gonna take a look at some of the old advice from Warren Buffett and figure out what exactly he would suggest doing with an income of cash like this. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget, you can now also check me out over on the Tip Ranks YouTube channel, where daily, Monday through Friday, we are doing a pre-market update where we're sharing with you everything you need to know before the opening bell. So make sure to head on over there and check it out. Now, it is probably not a big surprise that Warren Buffett will not be receiving a stimulus check this year, but we're looking at past advice of his to determine what he would suggest doing when an influx of cash comes in like this. We're also gonna take a look at a few of his favorite stocks as possible investment choices. Now, I am pleased to say that this first piece of advice from Warren Buffett is in line with advice I've given in previous videos, and that is whenever any extra money lands in your lap, your first move should be to pay off credit card debt. He says the world is in love with credit cards, but they're too costly. Credit card debt is a killer. That interest rate is typically always in the double digit arena, mostly between 19 to 25%, and those interest costs can kill you. So focus this lump sum on any short-term debts that can free up some monthly cash flow and get you out of that hamster wheel of interest-only payments on a credit card. The billionaire did indicate that he understood many Americans were relying on credit cards because of financial hardship related to the pandemic. At the same time, he said some people think of their plastic as a piggy bank to be raided. Buffett said, if I owed any money at 18%, the first thing I'd do with any money I had would be to pay it off. You can't go through life borrowing money at those rates and be better off. So if you're able to, pay off any short-term high interest debt first but that rule doesn't apply to all debt. This is where we could get deeper into good debt versus bad debt, but a big part of it comes down to the interest rate and the assets that are attached to it. So let's take your mortgage, for example. Warren Buffett wouldn't advise you to put your $1,400 payment towards your mortgage. In a 2017 interview with CNBC, he called the 30-year mortgage an incredibly attractive instrument for the homeowner. That even is more true today, with mortgage rates still at historically low levels. And that is the key here, is historically low mortgage rates. Over these last few years, rates have been in the 2 and 3% range. So instead of putting that $1,400 onto your mortgage, if you were to put it into the stock market, there is a very good chance that you could have your money earning more than what you're paying on your mortgage. Now, even though Warren Buffett could pay cash for his home in the 70s, he did take out a 30-year mortgage on it. He says he took the cash that he would have used to buy the house outright and purchased stock in his own company. Buffett bought around 3,000 shares of Berkshire Hathaway at about $40 each, an investment that he said had grown to $750 million by the time of the 2017 interview. So clearly a pretty healthy return on investment there for Warren. So if you don't have any other pressing needs, you know, rent, short-term bills that need to be paid, and you've paid down your high interest debt, the best thing you can do with that stimulus check is invest it so that it's worth more for you in the future. You could even follow Warren's steps and invest in Berkshire Hathaway. Now, Warren Buffett has famously never split a share of the Berkshire Hathaway Class A shares. So it has a fairly hefty price tag, currently at $381,513 per share. But keep in mind that many brokerages do allow fractional shares, so you can just invest what you can afford and maybe own a 100th of a Berkshire Class A share. I know though that that can seem very daunting, so let's take a look at the top five holdings within Berkshire Hathaway Class A as possible investment choices. Those include his largest holding, which is Apple, at over 43% of the portfolio, Bank of America, Coca-Cola, American Express, and Kraft Heinz. 
Taking a look on tip ranks, what analysts are saying about these stocks. Apple comes in as a moderate buy, currently trading at $125. The average upside potential is about 20%. We did see one analyst update their price target today with a $175 price target for about a 39% potential upside. We have Bank of America, currently priced at $37.71. They do come in as a moderate buy. However, the average price target is a negative downside right now. That is due to a handful of buy ratings and hold ratings all from about two months ago, which the stock has now exceeded in price, causing that potential downside. Our more recent ratings, we see some more upside potential, with the most recent coming eight days ago from Societe Generale, with a $41 price target for about a 10% potential upside. We then have Coca-Cola trading under the ticker KO at $51.21, also coming in as a moderate buy with an average price target of $57 for about an 11% potential upside. We then have American Express under AXP trading at $143 per share. It comes in as a moderate buy, and again, we have a price target that is actually about a 10% potential downside. And Kraft Heinz under KHC, currently at $38 per share, coming in as a moderate buy with a very modest potential upside of about half a percent. The most recent rating coming in 13 days ago with a $44 price target, which is a bit better, for about a 13.5% potential upside. Now, of course, many of these stocks Berkshire Hathaway has held for years. Some notable newer additions have been Snowflake, Verizon, and AT&T. So I am curious of these top five holdings in Berkshire Hathaway, what ones do you agree with or are interested in? I've said before, I think Apple is always a strong addition to any investment portfolio, and I personally really like the Coca-Cola stock as well, plus they pay a very healthy dividend. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below on your top picks or what your plans are with this stimulus check and how you're going to put that money to work for you. Keep in mind guys that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for entertainment and information purposes. Any investment decision needs to be made based on your own research and due diligence. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Don't forget to head over to the Tip Ranks YouTube channel to check out my daily pre-market morning update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and cheers. What are you doing?